Shalom. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well, for teaching me the truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect. All right. Shalom. Laha Bakharium. All right. That means peace to the elect, you brothers out there pushing across the world with our righteousness and sincerity. All right. And to you, our few sincere sisters who hearken as well. All right. You Israelites abroad, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, you are the true chosen people of the Most High, you know, and it's time for you to come back to your heritage. You know, those of you scattered abroad that look like so-called white people, so-called Chinese, so-called Arabs, etc., etc. All right, the Heavenly Father is sending His Son back to deliver us from this hell, from this captivity, you know. And a um, a part of the process in Him doing that is for us to pray to Him, okay? And you could pray to Him in the Hebrew. In the Hebrew language, all right, our our tongue, our native tongue, okay, where we come from, you know. So, um, without further ado, I'm gonna go into the um into the word water, all right, the Hebrew characters for the word water, all right. Then I'll gather up some scriptures through the Spirit. There's a book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse four. It says, "The words of a wise man, so like it, the words of a man's mouth, are as deep as waters, and the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook." Yeah, man, because when we are prophesying, okay, or when you hear the words of a wise man, all right, you know, the wisest man being Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay, when he was on the scene, he spoke very parabolically, and it was always with, with some type of wisdom put forth, okay, he was prophesying as well, okay, he was prophesying about the kingdom of heaven, you know, he was telling our people to have faith, because without faith, you can't please him. Okay, it's impossible to please the most high, uh, to, uh, to please the most high. Okay, the scriptures tell you that, you know. But Yahweh Shah's um words and understanding were were as deep as waters, man. Okay, you know, like when you um just a uh, just a, a small example, you know, like when you touch the surface of like a a river or ocean or whatever the case, and you keep sticking your hand down there, what you you just get lower and lower and lower and lower and lower, all right? Because there's depth. In words, man. More importantly, the words of the scriptures. Okay? So that's why it says the words of a man's mouth are as deep as water. As, are as deep as waters. And the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook. Yeah, because um, water is boundless, man. Okay? Water is boundless. Water is formless. Okay? And it it, 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 it abounds greatly. You know? And now the water is, is representing the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, so let's go into this word water real quick. All right, in the Hebrew. Strong's 8, 4325. My. My. Esau's whack with his damn pronunciations and enunciations, man. But it's my yum. Okay, it's my yum. All right, and um, always remember that Hebrew. All right, the Paleo Hebrew, the Lashon Kodash, is read from right to left not left to right like all these other uh like a lot of these other languages all right the, the the holy tongue is read and understood and comprehended from right to left okay so started from the left i mean started from the right so like it started from the right all right it's ma ya ma all right this is the assyrian hebrew uh hebrew okay so it's ma ya ma all right or ma yum all right rather ma yum Okay, because you don't pronounce the last ma in that word. Okay, so it's my yum. My yum. All right, so it says water, waters, water, water of defeat, urine, of danger, violence, transitory things, refreshment. Yeah, and water actually does um represent all of those things as well. Danger, violence. Okay, because the scriptures talk about the enemy coming down like a flood. Now, when you hear flood, the first thing you think of is what? Water. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. See if I can find something in here. Mm. Yeah, right here uh, at the top, it says it is joined to plural adjectives, living water, i.e., um, gushing forth holy water. All right, and it's quite, it's, it's referenced in scriptures as well. It says to verbs both plural 
Um, yeah, holy water. All right, holy water represent the uh, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right. Um, let me see. And then look right here. It says, uh, where is it? Where it says, um, he drew me out of many waters. Yeah, like like how the word water, you know, it could also represent a uh, violence or destruction. You know, he drew me out of many waters. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that's the point. You, you know, water is also a great healing agent. Okay, that's why the, that's why this this truth, these scriptures is referred to as water. All right, my yum. Okay. So that was the point on that. Now let me um let me go into uh the Paleo Hebrew, all right, which is also called the Phoenician, by the way. All right, let me go into the uh, the, the Paleo Hebrew characters of the word Mayum. All right, Khan, here we go. So I'm gonna oops. Write the characters, all right, the Paleo Hebrew characters for the word water, all right. So, again, Hebrew is written from right to left, okay, not the other way around, all right. So, right here, this is the character Ma, okay, because again, the, the Hebrew word for uh, water, all right, is. Mayam. All right, so this is the Hebrew character for Ma. Then we're gonna go to, we're gonna um write a uh, Ya. Okay, this is the Hebrew character for the word Ya, like Yahawa. All right, this is the beginning of the heavenly Father and the Son's name. All right, who the world inwardly calls God in Christ. All right, this is the first character. All right, and then we're gonna. All right, so. Now you have it. Ma, ya, ma. All right. It's mayam. So we're going to go ahead and put the characters here. All right. Now you have mayam. Okay. Mayam. You never, you're never supposed to pronounce it maya ma. All right. It's mayam. All right. And that's the Paleo Hebrew. All right. Characters. All right. For the word water. You know, Lord's willingness is edifying. And until next time, Shalom.